Hey guys, this is your update for today, your dinar summary from my single, my Intel people that are helping me out. Uh, Mr. Sandman 1 and 2 from Iraq. Evidently, there's been other names for Mr. Sandman, and I, these are not associated with that. This is a coin. They've been with me since March. They're really incredible guys. They're helping out over there, keeping things secure in Iraq, and I love the intel they bring. And they usually, according to them, that's their, they say they, they get it quicker to me because they like sharing on my channel. So welcome to my channel. If you want their unique insights, different than anybody else's, then you're going to want to subscribe, tap the bell, and you too can become part of this family. And then you can join us for coffee and conversations where I discuss every morning all of this wealth transfer, including other things too, not just Iraqi dinar, but also I am very diversified. My background is accounting. I was Got my first job out of college with as a C Florida CPA with Price Waterhouse. I was an auditor where I audited banks, which gives me a unique perspective into the exchanging of our currencies process. And if you want a new unique perspective, you can email me down below and you can find out some information about that. Because I'm not, I'm not suggesting what the other people are suggesting. I'm suggesting an alternative, just an alternative, guys. There are so many differing, diverse things going on in this world, you need to understand you can carve your own way in it, all of it. Even the CBDC shouldn't be scary. There's another way. So I prevent a, present a unique perspective. God always provides a way out. I'm a Christ kid. Um, I follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, uh, the Bible, and I bring that to bear on this as well. So I pray for everybody that subscribed to my channel. God told me I was under an open heaven. He told me my husband and I would rule as kings and queens during this time. So I'm believing the time is now. God has told me this is done in the spiritual realm, but we need a group of believers to pull it in. So please join me on my channel and you can join us in prayer because that's where we're praying for this thing to manifest now because a lot of people need it. A lot of people are beyond needing it with everything going on around us. So without going into details about that, because I like to stay up so I can keep encouraging you. There's a lot, there's been a lot of good news lately. Um, not only are they bilaterally working with Kuwait, Kuwait is one Kuwaiti dinar equals $3.24 US. Okay, that's the rate right now. Iraq is one US dollar equals 1,030 dinars. Okay, so you can see there's a huge disparity there. A thousand dinar to one US dollar versus one Kuwaiti equals three over three to over three US dollars. They're completely in balance, but they're working bilaterally, collaboratively. Also, um, oh, I can't remember who it was. Um, in addition to my, my intel, um, I wanted to bring you this because we're talking about Iraq and Kuwait. Iraq and Kuwait have always had an agreement Number one, Frank26, love his channel. He was saying that according to his contacts, the Vietnam contract is real and a change is coming. He tells he tells him that once the change occurs within 24 hours, the Vietnam Dong will also change to be economically fair to both Iraq and Vietnam because they've both been devalued for a long time. So that's good news that if Iraq comes, the Dong will go shortly thereafter. Frank has always believed that he stays, he's like me. He's a person of faith. He sticks to his convictions and I stick to mine that it's done because that's what God told me to say prophetically. But what I wanted to bring out is that Paul uh, clarified that there's an, there's an agreement between Kuwait and Iraq. And that, that stated that their agreement with the United Nations that Iraq when it revalues shall not be within more than two pennies higher or lower than when they come back out as per their agreement. So Kuwait and Iraq have an agreement. They're working bilaterally. This thing is about to pop. So I hope you will be encouraged by that. Um, also, Mr. Sandman has pointed out, that was Mr. Sandman's clarification. So I give him credit for that. I give Frank the, the credit for having the people on the ground that are contractors in both Vietnam and, and uh, Iraq, I'm assuming. Um, I don't know, those of you know Frank could fill in those details, but but they have contractors that their their contracts are denominated in these things. So they would know when there's about to be a change. So it's good to have those resources. So I'm glad you're watching Frank 26. And then he said to me, let's see, oils jumped up, the price of oils jumped up. I did a report yesterday that talked about the oil. Um, I was on my front porch and the sound wasn't good because of my ear earbuds. I'm looking into that, guys. I'm still got to do the sound check. 
they they did their their testing um trial operation the first steam boiler begins in iraq that's good because they're diversifying right and then he said let's see the pm's advisor the government is committed to implementing the understandings with the kurdistan region they're working they're working in peace guys they're working with everybody they're having they're having they had a pilgrimage that was very safe and that's all good um this was a big piece this week. Iraq maintained its credit rating, according to, which I broke last night on my Margaritas and Mysteries. So I did a live last night. You can go check that out. I'll put the link down below. According to the finance ministry, Iraq has maintained its credit rating with what? Standard & Poor's credit rating. It says Iraq maintains its credit rating at B minus slash B with a stable future outlook with an emphasis on financial and economic stability, according to the report, indicating that the new classification came as a reflection of the policy of continuous economic and financial reforms pursued by the Ministry of Finance. In addition to maintaining the level of foreign currency reserves that exceed the external public debt and fulfilling other external financial obligations as a result of the stability of crude oil prices. So guys, this is all good. It said the possibility of improving Iraq's credit rating in the event of high economic growth, diversified public financial revenues of the oil and non-oil state, increased per capita income and continued fiscal and economic policy reform. Standard & Poor's is sticking with Iraq and sticking with the exact same credit rating. Well, what's gonna happen when it revalues? So guys, I really think it's positioned to revalue. You gotta read between the lines right? And you, you need to watch the big short to understand why some of these rating agencies are way behind the curve, right? So watch the big short. It's a good movie. It's based on a true story. You should watch it. It'll bring you understanding about a lot of things going on right now. Um, then he sent me a new article that says the federal government has fully implemented, the federal government has fully implemented its financial obligations towards the, the Kurdistan government spokesperson, Al Awadi, says. Um, and then he sent Iraq develops its infrastructure by building glass fiber. Um, it's interesting. They're, again, they're diversifying their means of. Oh, shoot, that's not good. I didn't mean to start that. Sorry. I didn't realize it was a link to a YouTube video. But I'm glad he's sending me everything he can with regard to Iraq. So he's keeping us posted and I'm relying on him for that. I thank, I thank the good Lord that he's doing that for us. So the federal government has fully implemented its financial obligations toward KRG government spokesman Al Awadi says. It says, let's see, towards the Kurdistan region. The federal government has fully implemented its financial obligations towards the Kurdistan region and has made the utmost efforts to provide solutions. Um, he said that in a post on X, formerly Twitter, it says, until the end of June, the money owed by the region reached to more than three times the share of the region, according to the actual expenditures of the state, while Kurdistan region government KRG did not deliver oil and non-oil revenues as required by the federal budget law. Notwithstanding the lack of commitment of KRG, the federal government has taken the decision not to hold Iraqi citizens in Kurdistan responsible for their non-compliance, and they worked as permitted by law by taking decision in the council ministers to lend the region until its financial problems are fundamentally resolved. Alawadi stressed the federal government is as keen on the rights of the citizens in the Kurdistan region as it is on the rights of the citizens of other, other governments, and that adherence to federal laws and agreements concluded under the Constitution is the shortest path to completing financial transfers and enhancing confidence. Guys, everything is set for this thing to go if you would just have eyes to see. I hope you like this summary. I hope you will comment down below. It is Friday. Enjoy your Friday. I'll come back over the weekend and bring you summaries because I do this almost daily. So please reward me with a like and a subscribe. And I'd love to see you in a live chat. I'm going to do that this weekend as well. I really don't take any days off. I keep going because why? I think it's that close. And I want to help everybody understand how keen it is that we all believe this and use our manifesting prayers and powers of whatever you call your manifesting universe, whatever, to bring this in, because we all need it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Have a good day. Comment down below. Did you like this? Do you want more of this? See you later.